with the temps dropping, some of us may have brought out our space heaters or our heated blankets. WRTV's Kelsey Anderson joins us from Bargersville with what you need to know and what you need to remember before you plug in. Well, it's only October 18th, but many of us woke up this morning to very cold temperatures, even snow on the ground. So you might be looking for that space heater, kicking the dust off of it. So I'm here right now with Deputy Chief Mike Pruitt. So tell us some of those safety tips that you've got for people as they're looking to heat their homes. Right, 21,000 fires across the U.S., 300 fatal, all because of misuse of space heaters. So it's a very important topic as we move into the cold weather. So the big thing is we want to select a proper space heater for our home. So you can see there's different types. This is a radiant heater, uh, infrared heater, which is actually a much safer heater. We don't have that open face hot front uh, that could actually come up against something combustible and start a fire. So do your homework. You go to the big box store. If you're using an older space heater, inspect it. Make sure that the wiring is good, all the safety features. All these space heaters have a, a safety switch on the bottom, so if they do fall over, they will shut off, or if they overheat. Mm -hmm. So that is a good thing about those. Then you get into more of the commercial heaters. This is not something I would put in my living room. Okay, this is more something we'll see in the construction site where maybe they're trying to dry the drywall, uh, paint. And of course, you can see what can happen with space heaters here as we, uh, as we tested this earlier, and this could happen. And if you don't have a working smoke alarm in your home, uh, I've seen the fatal results of someone in bed or sitting in a recliner that didn't have early warning, something they're like their blanket caught fire and ended up tragic. And then, of course, when we talk about how far we keep space heaters away from anything combustible out of a major pathway in the home, mm -hmm. three feet, okay, that's how far this space heater should be away from anything combustible. And when we go to bed at night, we should shut all space heaters off, add a few blankets, snuggle up. And when we leave the home, we should turn all space heaters off. So, because if we don't know that there's a problem, especially if we don't have a smoke alarm for early warning, we're gonna find ourselves in a very bad situation uh, not knowing we have a fire. So, pay attention to what's going on, shut them off when you're not using them, and uh, use proper placement. And I think something that's really important and we've talked about is that you're telling these tips because you've seen this happen in real life. You've seen either serious accidents or fatal accidents because of people not following these tips. I have. Been in the fire service for only nearly 40 years, and I've seen what happens when these are improperly used. They may not seem like the, something bad's going to happen. You may sit there for hours and nothing happened, but what's happening is the materials are breaking down when you don't shut them off and you have them too close to mm -hmm. something combustible. And then the fire starts when you don't know it. Yeah. And then things turn tragic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank now, you. again, if you are going to turn your heat on today, make sure that you are changing that air filter and cleaning that furnace area before turning up the heat in your house. And, of course, if there is an emergency, always call 911. In Bargersville, Kelsey Anderson, WRTV.